Hey, Greg Spindler here. Had a client come in yesterday. She's a marathoner and she's got something, a big event coming up uh, in the middle of February. And she came in with a complaint of hamstrings. But she was a foreigner and it was really hard to understand what she was trying to tell me. So quickly I went to that raging bull test. So let me show you what that is real quickly. I'm going to set this down. Raging bull test, as you know how the matadors, when they're going against bulls, the bull will take his hoof and swing back, right? Well, we can do that too. We put the ball of the foot out and bring it back. And what that does is it engages the hamstrings way up top, right in that insertion underneath the gluteal fold. And when we can have pain there if that tells us that we need to be easy with the soft tissue work. Do not stretch it and really check the quads for being overcompensation and tight. So the quads need to be the, the focus, not the hamstrings. We can do some soft work up in the hamstrings, but the quads have got to be where we spend some time to release the iliums, to allow them to posteriorly rotate a little bit, to create some slack, take some tension out of the hamstrings, okay? Then we can ask them to start on to their strengthening prog program, but what they want to do is make sure they're pain-free with the raging bull, and then they go to the hamstring curls and, of course, start working with the Nordic getup with the hamstrings. I'll talk to you soon.